Hey everybody, this is Jordi Elidoz of Medicine and in this episode we are going to talk about pompe disease. Pompe disease is also known as glycogen storage disease type 2. Pompe disease is a rare genetic disorder, meaning that the people with pompe disease inherit it as it is passed down from their parents. It is inherited autosomal recessive pattern. And in this disease, the body is not able to break down complex sugars, for example, glycogen. It affects organs and tissues, particularly muscles. And this disorder caused by mutations in the GAA gene, which helps break down glycogen. And lysosomal alpha-1 for glucosidase, which is also known as lysosomal acid maltase, is deficient in this disorder. As a result, we'll see cardiac hepatic and muscle glycogen accumulation and it will cause some symptoms. And there are three types of pompous disease. The first one is classic infantile onset. It appears within a few months of birth. And the second type is non-classic infantile onset. It appears at about one year of age. And the third and last type is late onset. It appears later in a child's life or even into the teen years or adulthood. Before getting into usual features, I'll explain something. Breakdown of glycogen to glucose in the lysosome is impaired in pompe disease. We explained this. This is normal muscle cells. We have enough enzymes in our lysosome so we can break glycogen. And this is pompe affected cell. We don't have enough enzymes in our lysosomes, so we cannot break it down, so it will cause these symptoms. The first symptom is cardiomegaly. It's the most common symptom. We will see 92% of patients with cardiomegaly. The second uh, feature is hypotonia, and the third one is cardiomyopathy and respiratory distress muscle weakness, and feeding difficulties, and lastly, failure to thrive are common symptoms. And it can lead to floppy baby syndrome. Remember, botulinum can also do that. And patients with pompe often have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. You should look for patients with exercise intolerance and crescendo decrescendo murmur and this cardiomegaly which is the most common symptom and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy due to lysosome rupture leading to cell death and diagnosis is a little bit hard we can use biopsy on biopsy in patients with pompe disease we can see lysosomal glycogen buildup which can be visualized using a pass stain. And life expectancy for late onset pompe disease is currently estimated to be age 30 when it first appears in children or teenagers and 50 years of age for adults. And as a treatment, we are using enzyme replacement therapy. We have deficient levels of alpha-1 for glucosidase. This is a problem, so we are going to give enzyme for replacing this. As a summary, disease is caused by an enzyme deficiency, and that enzyme called alpha-glucosidase, which normally breaks down complex sugars in the body and this buildup occurs in the organs and tissues especially in muscles causing them to break down and mutations in the GAA gene which helps break down glycogen cause this disorder. Most common cause of death in this patient's heart failure and remember that this disease is different from Fabry disease. Fabry disease is caused by alpha-galactosidase A deficiency. And in this disease, we have deficient levels of acid alpha-glucosidase levels. So those are different disorders. Don't mix them. This is the end of the video. If you liked it, please push that like button. Subscribe to my channel 
and comment down below. See you on the next videos. Take care.